three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Welcome to Roots of Reality. My name is Ben Bauman, and today I'm going to be talking about the history of sports. So for thousands of years, sports have existed in human societies. The first major organized sporting event occurred in ancient Greece, with the first ever Olympics about 2,700 years ago, featuring many track and field type events and more, in honor of the Greek god Zeus. And since the Olympics in ancient Greece, sports have become a much more globalized phenomena with the development of the modern Olympics in 1896, where now every country in the world sends its best athletes to compete in the Olympics. Today, the most popular sport in the world is football, also called soccer in the United States of America and Canada. And this became an organized sport in 1863 in England with the creation of the Football Association. From there, soccer would go on to become the most popular sport in the world due to a combination of different factors. First off, it started in the British Empire, which was the largest empire in human history, thus allowing for this game to be spread all over the world. You know, the British Empire had colonies in the Americas, Asia, Africa, and of course was able to spread sports to its neighbors in Europe as well. So every part of the globe, the British Empire existed, and therefore lots of culturally British things spread very quickly all over the world. Secondly, soccer is a sport that requires very little equipment. All you need is a ball to play with, and that's it. And therefore kids all over the world, whether they're rich or poor, can play the game with their friends almost anywhere. Additionally, most countries do not have their own national sports that are popular enough to compete with soccer. And therefore, due to these factors, the sport has grown tremendously popular all over the planet. In fact, only a few countries like the United States that have a history of popular national sports have prevented soccer from becoming the most popular sport in their country like the rest of the world. For example, in the United States, there is American football, baseball, basketball, which are all sports invented in America and are more popular than soccer. Next, the most valuable sports league in the world comes from American football. American football was created in 1869 at American universities, and the professional football league called the National Football League was created in 1920 and since has become the dominant sport in American life. Thus, the National Football League generates the most money out of any league in the world, and it is worth several billion dollars. And when it comes to Individual sports teams, the most valuable sports team in the world is the American football team called the Dallas Cowboys, which is worth almost $6 billion. So the National Football League's development and history to become such a wealthy sports league is really important because it represents a dramatic way in which sports has changed in human society in modern times. You know, how did a sport that was originally just played at a couple American universities become a multi-billion dollar industry? And the answer to that is media. In the 1900s, the development of radio and later television transformed sports, making professional sports incredibly valuable. Because at one point in time, if you were a fan and you wanted to keep track of your favorite team, you had to physically be there. So most people were supporting you know, their local team. That's the only team they could watch, so that's the one that they would pay attention to. But then came the invention of radio and television. And now, today, you can listen to a game on the radio while driving, or watch it on television, or even online via computer. Therefore, media has greatly increased the number of people who can keep track of a game. And because of these developments, sports has become much more popular, which has made it so sports leagues are worth much more money, and athletes, therefore, can also earn much more money. As a result, today, many professional athletes are now multimillionaires. However, the increasing popularity of professional sports has also made it ultra competitive. Because now kids all over the world are seeing all these professional athletes that are you know, super wealthy and you know, are on commercials. They see them all the time. And therefore, they dream of becoming like them, a professional athlete. 
But because there's more kids than ever before dreaming of becoming a, fresh, a professional athlete, it has made it much harder to become one. So if you want to become a professional athlete, that is fine. But today, kids have started to get some unrealistic expectations of how easy it is to become a professional athlete in the first place. Also, the greater attention given to professional sports has also made some kids believe that being a professional athlete is the only worthy occupation in the world. In reality, though, almost all kids who dream of becoming a pro will not become one. In fact, less than 1% will become pro athletes. And even those who become a pro athlete will have a career that is typically only between three to five years long. Additionally, it is not uncommon for those who do play professional sports to become bankrupt or have financial problems after they retire due to a lack of financial management skills. For example, Around 78% of players that play in the National Football League in the United States go bankrupt or have financial problems two years after retirement. So this is why it's important to bring up the fact that though sports are great, and if you want to be a professional athlete, go for it because you never know, maybe, just maybe, you'll be one of those who make it. But at the same time, there are plenty of other valuable occupations if you don't make it, or if you make it and you don't last long as a pro athlete. Because at the end of the day, sports leagues only exist if society is stable. Thus, athletes may make lots of money because they are in the entertainment industry and lots of people like to be entertained. But that opportunity to make lots of money playing sports is dependent on people around the world preventing things like wars from happening, preventing pandemics, or natural disasters and more. We always must remember that the world is a fragile place. And the ability to do things, like become a professional athlete, can only happen with the privilege of a stable society. Therefore, if you want to become a pro athlete, awesome, but don't think for a second that it is the only important thing in life, since there are plenty of other incredibly valuable ways that a person can be successful and contribute to society beyond being an athlete that are just as rewarding. Finally, the last thing I want to point out about sports is its ability to unify people from around the world. For example, today, every country sends its best athletes to compete in the Olympics in the spirit of athletic competition. This competition is really fascinating because it is one of the few things that every country agrees on, and that is the importance of sports in human society. You know, the fact that you can get all these people with different political views, cultures, languages, and religions together competing in different sports for fun and national pride, that's really quite incredible because it shows that things like sports can unify the world in ways most things cannot. Thus, sports may be just a game on paper, but the meaning behind it for human society is far greater. And as individuals, sports provides us with a temporary escape from the problems in our lives. Whether you're playing for fun or just watching your favorite team, for that moment, your mind is not thinking about that test you have coming up or that thing you have to do at work tomorrow or that health issue that you're dealing with or any other stress that's going on in your life at that time. Instead, in that moment, you are just enjoying the sport. So with that, sports really is a special thing in human society and a part of our culture that we should always cherish and enjoy. As always, remember, billions of years led to you, so make the most of it.